Cool. Yeah. What's up, Amy, Heather, Adam, my people? Coming in here, coming in hot. I love it. Got my coffee. Ready to go. I'm John Feldman. I'm an owner at Big Noise, Big Noise Music. We have amazing artists at our record company and amazing staff. We're killing it. We got Mod Sun, we got the Rex, we got the Used, we got Arrested Youth. So many artists. Um, yeah, Escape the Fate, it's coming. Box Boy's coming. Gonna have some epic, epic high. Uh, so today, we are going to listen to a bunch of music. And I'm gonna drink a bunch of coffee. It's gonna be incredible. Uh, so this, uh, this live Instagram session is in partnership with Together We Make Noise, which is Big Noise's charity division, and Adobe Radio. We're here to raise funds for mental health awareness and the organization Open Path. Uh, the Big Noise staff during this call will be sharing the donation information in the chat throughout this Instagram live session. So let's see here. Um, how do we search for the 27s? We're going to start with the 27s today. Um, right here, maybe? I think so. No, no, no. Um, there we go. Is it the 27s? Music, invite. All right, cool. I've invited the 27s to join in. Let's see if they're coming on. Uh, where are they here? Um, I have good music. Check it out. Yo, Superman. Here I am doing. Anyone see that? Um, anyone see that thing on Saturday Night Live last week where they did the the Superman ripoff thing with the dude from Succession? What's his name? Culkin. Uh, it was epic, man. It was like this total fucking just rad, like tip of the hat to the skateboarding culture, the Tony Hawk skateboarding culture. They did the Superman thing on Saturday Night Live. I should post a little, uh, a little thing in here or the link or whatever. Um, yeah, Goldfinger's coming out soon. Goldfinger's going on tour. We're playing France, dude. We're playing Hellfest in July. Um, 27s are unable to join. All right, so let's look up. Let's try uh, authors. So what do we do? We went here. Um, oh wait, uh, here. No. Okay. What is it? A T H R. T H R. Okay. So I've invited Authors Music, who's a band that submitted to our, uh, what's up? How you doing? Oh, John, how you doing? How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me on here. Sick. So your, uh, your artist name is Authors? Yeah, Authors. Welcome. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Florida, and I live out here in LA now. I've been here about two years. Where do you live? Uh, like right in Hollywood. No, I mean, what's your address, dude? I'm going to come to your house right now. Oh, no way. Zero <laughs> percent. I'll bring the coffee, bro. Come on. I do need more coffee. I'm only on tea right now, so. Okay. How do you like Hollywood? Love it. Great culture, lots of energy. It's an amazing place, honestly. So happy I came out here. And tell me about your process, your writing process. For sure. It's kind of different every time. It depends. A lot of times, just like words come and I'll make little voice notes and then go from there. I usually write all the songs on guitar and then get into Ableton and go crazy and turn them into something wild. So you start with music first? For sure. Okay, and then you come up with lyrics and melodies later? Yeah, I mean, sometimes the lyrics come first, like if there's just a phrase or something that happens that really sticks and then it just depends. Okay, cool. And then you're where, where in Florida are you from? Uh, Naples, so Southwest Florida. Okay, you miss yeah. it? 
a little bit. I'm hyped to go back for to see the fam and stuff for the holidays, but not. I'm out there for like four days, and I'm like, I got to get back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can have a big Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm gonna do Thanksgiving here, but Christmas will be fun with the fam. Who do you spend with with in LA besides me? A um, bunch of my homies, all my friends, all my good friends I've met out here. Okay. And how long have you been doing this for? Oh man, since like. I don't know, I was probably like 10. I was probably like eight when I started playing guitar and like the Authors Project is probably like five or six years old at this point. Okay, and you played a lot of shows? Yeah, for sure. Um, I just did Lost Lands with my homies Pixel Terror in Ohio. Just did uh, like Whiskey Go-Go not too, too long ago. So, yeah. Sick. Well, let's listen to your song, dude. Let's check let's it out. Inside. All right, we're going to rock it right now. Hopefully. Dead Inside All right. IRL. Um... Deadinside.irl is the name of the song. Yeah. Okay. Something's gotta give. You know that you can't quit, even though you feel bad inside. Yeah, just cut it and split. Let needle go to shit. You wouldn't let that shit slide, would ya? The special kind of vow we made here for us. Angel wings hang on the wall, sir. Careful now. To hope you for your shows this side. Amongst the soul, like da di da di da da di da di da di da Always this way or the other A da di da di da da di da di da di da Always this way or the other I smoke my lungs to ash And still all I feel is dead inside Thought I'd get some rest Oh my nightmare show in real life Eyes with no time, well, where do we go once we've turned against ourselves? Looking for the way our days like today. A little peace of mind goes a long way. <laughs> Sick. So is the verse, is the verse like the problem and the bridge is like the solution? Is that kind of how you wrote the song? Um, we back. Was, um, I was saying, is the, was the verse like the problem and the bridge, the middle eight is like the solution of that song? Yeah, sort of the, the resolution, like figuring out like your thoughts and stuff and kind of getting to the conclusion at the end. And then what, so how does the song in your mind relate to mental health? So, you know, I think everybody goes through things where they kind of feel down or feel out or feel just kind of like what's going on. And, um, it's difficult sometimes to find, I guess it in yourself or in other places, how to just kind of turn that switch off in your head. And uh, I read a lot of books like Be Here Now, which I actually kind of like drop that in the song was like a big one that helped me on how to just 
deal with like the waves of life and just understanding like how things work and staying in the moment and present and grateful for like what uh for what's going on and just kind of realizing that like hey it's okay like it's okay to be human and go through the waves and feel things and so this song actually did kind of happen at like a really rough time and uh, i guess it was just all of that coming out and uh and the song really means a lot to me so yeah. all right sick man and and so what is your do you have like a morning routine that you do for to treat your mental health i i try to uh sometimes i go on and off of it but yeah like meditation affirmations running with my dog and hang with my dog like 24 7 um and you know writing songs just trying to just pour out like you know it's like i guess all of us have stuff that like we need, need to do in order to just stay on track and stuff and so those are like the big ones I found. Staying physically active, because if you're not physically active, then it's just all downhill from there. So just trying to stay active, stay up, stay grateful, and keep on going. Yeah, dude, gratitude. You can't be resentful if you're grateful. I just, I, it, it, you can't, those, they, they can't live in the same universe. So I try and stay grateful all the time for this life that I have, living in Los Angeles, like having a home, healthy kids. I totally, I, I go running with my dogs every, almost every day. Um, I went boxing today with my son. I did a cold. I did my cold shower, which is imperative for my morning routine. I yeah. meditated as well. I have the inside timer. It's the best. Yeah. Um, that's sick. Well, thanks for having. Thanks for coming on, bro. Yeah. Best thank you guys for having me so much. Appreciate it. All right, authors. Thanks, man. All right. We'll see you guys. Sick. Um. All right. So let's try uh the 27s whoops that's a message isn't it this guy right here okay got it so if i just type in 27 it should come up not 26 i was kind of bummed that dude um it's kind of bummed that dude wouldn't let me give me his address dude i was ready to come over there and just start rocking some songs um all right let's try this again because i'm ready to go i'm always ready to go Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, no. Yeah. Woo! Oh, lots of technical difficulties there. Oh, dude, it's all good. We're back. The 27s are on live with us at Big Noise. I love it. Where are you guys at? Uh, Sherman Oaks, Encino area. Oh, dude, the Shokes. You ever go down to that Alfred's there in Studio City? Uh, no, I don't think so, actually. Oh, dude, Alfred Coffee's the best, dude. They got the best pumpkin spice latte. I could fucking, oh, fuck I could dry that up, just throw it on a plate and snort it. It's so good. Dude. It's <laughs> fucking epic. It's right next to Jones. I get the salad there. I, like, I go there so much, man. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, great, yeah. dude. Shokes is epic. Shokes, um, I've never heard of that. That's yeah, so that's, good. That's awesome. Have, did, did you guys grow up here? No, we moved here about two years ago from Texas, actually. Oh, welcome, man. How do you like LA? Hey. Fucking love it. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Can't beat the there's, weather. There's nothing better. So, you guys uh, co writing partners? Yeah. Yeah. And how do you guys kind of typically, what's your, what's your process? So, I'm on the production side. I, I, I play guitar in the project, but then I'll do all the instrument side. And then he does all the lyric stuff. Okay. Cool. Have you guys played shows? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we did uh, Emo Night recently. Yeah. How was that? It was amazing. <laughs> Self section. <laughs> It's like the emo night's like a sober event. No one really drinks at those things, do they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just did emo night uh, last month, and it was just like a fucking. It was uh, it was crazy, man. It was a super party fest. All right, well, let's listen. Uh, we're gonna listen to Wasted. All right. Start over. Wasted on sunset in Hollywood. I wouldn't get better if I knew I could. Ten minutes in with these issues. I need a move. I need a move. This is everything she said. Yeah. 
six. Sounds amazing. Great job, Thank you. you guys. Thank you. What, hey, what are you guys' names? Uh, Lando. I'm Kevin. Lando and Kevin. Kevin, great job on the production. Vocals sound great too, Landon. You guys Thank smashed you. it. Thank you. Thank so you. Yeah. tell me about tell me about the the mental health aspect of the song. Uh well, for years I've been battling like addiction and stuff like that. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to put it in a song to where um, you know, it kind of talks about addiction, a little bit of different twist on mental health rather than just, you know, strictly like depression and stuff like that, which, you know, deal with also. But um, yeah, and it's just basically talking about, um, you know, being out here and how, uh, you know, you can get sucked into addiction pretty easy out here um, in uh, L.A. and the Hollywood area and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, that's that's more or less what it is. Um, so. Okay. Raising awareness on, on addiction and stuff like that. So. And, and how do you treat your addiction? Uh, I mean, I'm not super well at it, but um, I would say like, you know, I go to therapy here and there and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, definitely need to be doing it a lot more, I would say. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, I guess they say if you hang out at a barbershop long enough, you're going to get your hair cut. So it just depends on who you hang out with and where you exactly. hang out as well. I mean, exactly. It's so much part of it. You know, it's like if I'm, if I'm blacked out drunk at a donkey show in Tijuana, I'm probably not going to be writing a lot of songs. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, For which sure. is sad, you know, sadly where my addiction leads me. Yeah, I'm a, um, you know, I'm definitely an, an addict as well. And I just have to stay the fuck away. I can't, I can't have any part of it. I can't just dabble. It's all or nothing for me. I'm yeah. either yeah. Yeah. No, or no, all no. out. So, but it's totally a, a mental health issue. It's not a moral issue. And, um, you know, everyone has their own kind of what they find. Some people find church or religion or some people go to meetings, you know, it's just whatever, yes. you know, whatever works for you is what's epic, man. So that's rad. dude. I really like the song, man. It's um, yeah, it's really great. So what about so what's the story about Sunset in Hollywood? Uh, just, you know, um, Sunset in Hollywood is just like, you know, the place that we like to go party at and stuff like that. And so, you know, I occasionally find myself uh you know, getting into like substances out there and, um, and finding myself just kind of, yeah, wasted in, in, a, in a sense <laughs> on, on Sunset in Hollywood. And, uh, yeah. And so it's just kind of, you know, talking about just more or less like how I want to kick this habit, you know, and stuff like that. But it's a hard, it's a hard thing to break away from and stuff. And yeah. Do Sun do Sunset and Hollywood actually ever meet? Is there like a, a meeting ground of both streets Sunset or is it in Hollywood? Sunset in Hollywood. Yeah, that's that's the lyric. Yeah. Kind I can't believe I, I can't believe I misinterpreted it that way. I think, <laughs> Fount, I think Fountain and Sunset meet up down there in Silver Lake. And I think um yeah, maybe no, it, it turns into Franklin, I think. Anyway, dude, I'll have a geography class all day long about <laughs> Los Angeles, dude. Let's go. <laughs> um, well, um, well, thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging. And I hope you, um, and I wish you guys the best of luck, man. Hopefully we can meet up soon sometime, you know, um, shoot awesome. me up. Uh, uh, up yeah. yeah. Hey, are you guys working with my boy, Zach from American authors? Yeah. 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 How's that going? Dude. Fuck Amazing. He's the best. Yeah. He's so, so cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's a really talented guy. I worked with him a while ago. Um, I'll he's say. just he's just rad, a rad energy, just a super I don't think he could hang with my coffee intake, but he was he was a great <laughs> <laughs> We can we can hang with that. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> um all right, sweet. Well thanks for joining. Um let's talk soon. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, sick. Um you know what I was thinking when we were listening to that song was uh it's like when you're listening to a song on Instagram and and you're you're rocking out in here, but because of the delay, they're rocking out at a different tempo. So visually, it looks super funky. Um, all right, let's let's try um, Marley. Marley's, I think, is how you um, M A R. Right here. Yeah. I am. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Um, you pronounce your name Marley? Marley. Yeah, like Bob. Marley. Like okay. Bob, whatever you choose. <laughs> <laughs> do you love Do you love those books? I the books. I used to read Marley books to my kids all the time when they were really little. There were there's all these like cartoon Marley books, like Marley at Christmas, and Marley always destroys everything. That's the Marley. whole the plot of every book. 
that's that's very fitting. I feel like I relate to that. I don't know if that was like an inspiration behind my name for my parents, but that I feel like that character and I have a lot in common. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, Marley, like the story is every time, like Marley wakes up, goes down and destroys the whole house, eats all the food, and then poops everywhere, and then runs around outside and then, and then falls down from exhaustion. Like the, the, the Hollywood, Halloween one, the Christmas one, it's always the same. Well, that's oh great. Gosh. I love but that. No, I, no, nobody's ever asked me about those. Like I've never, I, nobody has ever asked me about the books. I had no idea these even existed. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. Um, and the movie was what? Jennifer Aniston and um, what's his name? Uh, Owen, uh, Owen Wilson. Yeah, I, I love that movie. I, I never, my parents never let me watch it because it came out when I was really little. And they were like, I, I have like a huge attachment to animals. I'm a huge animal person. And my parents didn't let me watch it when the movie came out because they didn't, they were like, the dog dies, Marley dies. And that's just going to be like so traumatizing for her in so many different ways. So I still haven't seen it. Never yeah, seen it's pretty it. sad. Yeah, yeah, I've had, uh, we, we've lost, we've lost some dogs and it's, there's nothing, God, there's no, no more, no worse pain than that, you know, yeah. when that happens. Do you have a dog now? I uh, I have two actually. I have a blue healer who's still a baby, and he is just a psychopath. Um, and then I have a, I have a black lab, and she's pretty old, so she's like our little grandma that takes care of the blue healer. So it's it's a nice dynamic. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, I've got a long haired German Shepherd and a, a blue Merle, uh, an Australian Shepherd, who's around here somewhere, and they just like. They're always at it, just oh. whatever. They're constantly filled with energy. But it's like, you know, since we're talking about mental health, you know, I just, I, I, I mean, for me, at least, my dogs are such a huge part of, you know, how I deal with life, you know, just, you know, yeah. my, they, my dogs sleep with me. So it's like I go to bed with them, wake up with them. We go for walks. We go for, we go for hikes and runs. And it's like, yeah. they keep me on my toes. It's like, um, I don't know about you. Like, what's your experience with that? For sure. I mean, I, I definitely, I have, I have, Basically, I, I live with my family. I'm 19. So I have like, we have like two dogs, two cats and a rabbit. So we have like a farm here, basically. Um, but I mean, my cats are just like, those are my favorite. I have one of my cats tattooed behind my ear because literally like, whenever, um, whenever I know there have been like so many studies too about like animals and pets, like detecting when there's something wrong with their owners or something or like being able to kind of tell when something's wrong. And one of my cats actually like, whenever I'm crying or whenever I'm not feeling good or something, one of my cats will literally run around the house meowing to try and find me and then like come over and sit with me and just like purr and sit in my lap until I feel better. It's pets are great. I love them more than people for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know they don't. They, they, yeah, exactly. They don't have like, all they want is love. That's it. Yeah. Um, yeah. One of my friend t told me this horrible, horrible joke, which I'll share with you now. <laughs> he said, go grab you, go grab your dog and your wife and, Put them in your trunk for, and drive around for 30 minutes. And when you op open up the trunk, see who's happy to see you. Oh, my God. <laughs> so bad. Such a bad not joke. Wrong. It's not wrong. Not <laughs> but, wrong. you know, my, um, my dog would definitely be happy to see me. I don't think my, wife, I don't think my marriage would survive. So we're <laughs> never going to try that ever. Um, so, so you've submitted a song, Not Happy Yet. I did, yes. And we're going to listen to it right now. Awesome. Can't wait. Are you ready to rock out with I'm, different I'm in, so in, ready. So hyped. In, yes. Okay. <laughs> Cuz we're in, we're both in like it's going to be great. It's going to be glitchy. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> All right, here it is. I don't know how to be happy. I'm so good, 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 I'm so
Sounds sick. Great job. Thank Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. How'd you record that? Um, so I, uh, I collaborated with this producer, Aaron Blackmore, and then uh, my friend Adam Sample, who's a writer. Um, and we all just kind of like, I just kind of walked in and I was like, this is how I'm feeling right now. I don't know how to explain it. It's not a healthy feeling. And I think we should talk about it. And they're like, yeah, let's go. And that was just kind of, then we just went. So not happy yet is the title. Yes. Yeah. And then how, so what is your trajectory between not happy yet and happy? Like, how do you connect <laughs> those two? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still figuring that out, honestly. I mean, cause the whole song is basically about, I mean, my, my whole experience, especially like, I think social media is fueled a lot where like everybody on social media is kind of like showing the best representation of their life. Like, I know I do that too. It's like on social media, everybody is like great and like showing the best version of themselves. And it's really hard, like in the arts and that stuff in your career to like watch that and not like compare yourself to other people. And I know personally for me, I always like, I compare myself to others a lot when I'm on social media and I'm seeing all these people and just like living their best lives and doing all these great things. And I set all these goals for myself and I start hitting them, but then I'm like, I still don't feel great. So then I'm setting like all of these unattainable goals and all these ridiculously high standards for myself that I know I can't reach. Um, I think for me, it's just like, I, I know for myself, I am happiest when I am like working my hardest and doing the best that I can. Um, and I, I think getting to a happy place is not going on social media. <laughs> um, I think that's part of it. I know for me, like, I think, to kind of deal with when I'm not feeling happy and when I need to like feel more self-confident and more like happy with how I'm feeling about myself. I just kind of need to take a break from social media um, and just kind of list out the things that I'm grateful for. Cause that's the thing is like, I, in the song, I really wanted to make sure that I never said like my life sucks or like everything sucks because it's not true. I'm, I'm really fortunate and I have a home and I have a family and I have great freaking cats and dogs and all kinds of things. And it's like, everything's great but there's still like I think it's really hard with like mental health when it's just there are moments and just small things and you don't even know how to describe it it's just little moments where like you have a lot of things that you can be grateful for but there's still like small things that get you and like mountains that you have to overcome basically but yeah well you've made it this far you're in my studio in Calabasas or as my friends call it uh Calabasas you know you're here you're here with me right now and we're listening to your music on Instagram live. And it's like, I mean, I've, I mean, look, I, I'm much further along in my career than you are. And I just know that I was where you were at. I was selling shoes at one point, you know, on Melrose, just like, I mean, that was it working for $5 an hour, just, yeah. you know, just, yeah. you know, cr crunching at crunching out the, the time, like going rehearsing in my band and writing music and, um, and I did all you can do is the best you, you, you can do. And it's like, you're talking to me right now, who is, you know, produced five seconds of summer and Avril Lavigne and Blink-182. And yeah. like, <laughs> I've made some, in, in, I've done some incredible things in my career, but it just took one song at a time. And all it takes is that one song to connect and everything yeah. can change and just don't give up. I mean, that's the whole thing. It's like, don't fucking give up ever. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? It's like, just keep going. And however that works, whether it's like getting up in the morning and you, you're, you have some shitty attitude, but you just get, take your dog on a walk and all of a sudden it just changes a little bit. And I find for me that thinking about doing things is much harder than actually doing them. Like doing them, once I start doing it, it just, it just goes, you know, everything goes. But, you know, for me, I've got an arsenal of things I do in, in the morning, like meditation, working out, prayer. I have all sorts of stuff that I do to kind of like, get me aligned to have the best day possible. And it sounds like you do as well. And yeah. I think you're killing it. The song is amazing. I think you're awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. I think, I think music is really like, I, for me, it's like you have like all the things that you do. And I, I've, I'm starting to figure out the things that I can do for myself that kind of like help me get out of that headspace. But I think honestly, music is just like the best therapy for that. Cause it's, you just sit down and like whenever any of my friends are ever going through anything, I'm always just like, just sit down and just write it out. And then just see how you feel after you write it all down and then look at that. And it's just, it's so valuable. But yeah, there's no way I'm, I think in music, it's just having to deal with so many no's. It's like you said, until you hit that one song that works, it's just like going through all the no's and going through the motions and still just like pushing it until that one person says yes. And I'm just still looking for that, still going at it. So <laughs> Well, that song is awesome. And I, and I just, I, are you in Los Angeles? I am. Yeah. Cool. You love it here? I love it. I, I think it's great. I actually, I came from Texas too. So all of us Texans are coming out to, to LA. We're taking over. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've been in LA since I was like 12. So I've, I feel like I've grown up mostly out here. I went to high school in LA and everything. So I, I love it here. It's great. Yeah, me too. I mean, the best songwriters, just the best producers, best everything yeah. are out here. So, yeah. um, well, I wish you the best of luck and thank you for being on this call. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. All, all right. Um, Rue is up next, right? R O O X X. Right here. Let's see if he let's see if he's if he's here. Yo, what's up, dog? What up, man? Thank you How for you having doing? me on here. I'm good. Oh, dude, I'm my good. pleasure, man. What's shaking? Man, I'm just chilling. I was just actually writing right before this started. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, I try and write a song a day. It's like part of my therapy is writing yeah. a song every day. So that's yeah. sick. What are you writing about today? Um, today I'm so I'm working on like a whole project. Kind of want it to be like in chronological order, but. So I've made a couple of songs that have related to some trauma that I've faced in my life. So now I'm trying to work on, like, this piece is going to be called Sacrifice. So it's going to be about how, you know, I'm slowly healing. I'm slowly seeing what I need to do to, you know, heal my mind, what I have to let go, what I need to start doing to, you know, start feeling okay. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I music does that for me. It gets yeah. me through. It works me through any of that kind of heavy trauma that i've been through i've written about all these things that happened to me as a kid and it's really helped so yeah that's awesome man are you in florida no i'm actually well right now i'm in normal i go to illinois state um but i'm from chicago okay killer yeah, yeah. how is it out there for is it freezing cold man it is so cold <laughs> i cannot stand it well it's 75 degrees here in calabas sauce today so uh, i'm sorry thank you. i'm sorry yeah. dude <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> we're ki we're killing it out here in California, dude. It's the best. Yeah. You know, one day you'll, one day you'll be out here. You know, as a musician. So we're gonna listen to um paralyzed monsters. Yeah. And you recorded this yourself. Uh, I actually I work with someone at Eclipse Studios. His name's Eric Nelson. He's super cool. He always produces a bunch of my songs. All right, sick. Let's listen. <laughs>
Sick man, sick song. Thank you. Have you. a cool voice, dude. Thank you, thank you. Um, what's how's that song relate to mental mental health for you? So for me, like growing up, uh, there were like always small things that I didn't really recognize. Um, you know, were bringing me down mentally. Um, so I was sitting in my room and I was just freestyling, and the phrase "monsters" in my head came, and I just remember, you know, being young and hearing the phrase monsters are un always on your bed but no one warns you about the monsters that are now in my head so you know fighting that childhood trauma that can follow you the rest of your life you know that's really what happened yeah those monsters in my head are, are uh, alive and well too especially at three in the morning after i've had like three red bulls and six shots of espresso at 8 p.m i'm like laying in bed i'm like the monsters are like wake up your wife wake her up wake her up yeah. what is she doing yeah come on let's hang out whatever yeah. but um yeah i i, I don't want to make light of of the idea of the of those negative voices because those negative voices are real too and it's um yeah. and how do we uh you know how do we deal with that negativity it's like you know it's contrary action for me it's always yeah. like taking the opposite when i'm like i don't want to go in the studio today i don't want to write a song i i always like get to my piano or get to my guitar and just say mm -hmm. fuck it i'm yeah. going anyway i'm going hard i just you know you know those that negativity it's like they say that the only handicap in life is a bad attitude and so yeah. I, I gotta i gotta do everything i can to have a good attitude and whether that's be writing songs or that's by you know working out or you know exercise and meditation yeah. whatever it is for you that you do that helps you get out of that negative space you know hanging out with friends you know mm -hmm. talking about your truth whatever that is man and um and really a uh, great great job you're in school right now yeah i'm actually uh I mean, yeah, I go to Illinois State. Sick. Well, what are you studying? Uh, right now, I'm in data science. So, like, huge math, like, type stuff. Does that help you? Because I know you're singing about jerking off in this song. Does, uh, does school help with that? Well, so that that is kind of like <laughs> when, I, when I talk. Uh, with that line actually is our love felt so good masturbated because that feeling of, like, release is kind of – it's always temporary it's never permanent you know so that being a like away at school has definitely like made me recognize all that kind of stuff how nothing is permanent and you know temporary feelings you know you have to combat them all the time nice um well dude it was really great to meet you man and great uh, you know best of luck for you in your career and with school and all that man yeah really great you. to talk yeah thank you so much all right man um i'll see you later all right, see you, man. Um, cool. Well, they are, there are a lot of, uh, wow. <clears throat> so we listened to the 27s, authors, Marley, and Rue. Rue, right? That's how you pronounce the last gentleman's name. Oh, yeah, we have one more. Sorry. Five ever. Okay, where are you at? Um, five ever. This one here? Sick. Five ever. Where are you at? Um, 
Yo. Yo. What's up, boys? How you doing, John? I'm doing amazing. How are you? We're good. We're stuck in Boston. It's getting cold out here. Oh, man. I'm so sorry to hear that, dude. <laughs> Not where we are. We're fucking... We're rocking here in California. We're both actually from California, so we, we feel you. <laughs> We're, we miss you. <laughs> Why'd you move? Uh, both, both came out here for college. Okay. And we've just been, been here ever since. What are your names? I'm Alex. Tyler. Alex and Tyler. F uh, five ever. Five ever. That's the band. Your, lo your, your logo on this thing looks like that... Um, uh you know new music now or whatever <laughs> those those <laughs> cds were you, you know, know like yeah. top 40 <laughs> cds specific. we were going That's for like, that like early 2000s like myspace you know warp tour kind of stuff you know all about that i do know all, about that. <laughs> all right so this song's called uh champagne, champagne. we're gonna rock it right now you Check ready yeah we're ready okay here we go hello Yellow. Another way to sit here now, laying on the couch. Thinking maybe I could have it better. Or be like anybody else. Another way to sit here now, laying on the couch. Thinking maybe I should have it better. Or be like anybody else. I try to take my time. I don't want to wait anymore. But it's just the way to get it. Sick, dude. Very nostalgic. I love it, dude. Thank champagne. You. What does champagne have to do with the song? Uh, well, there's a lyric that says, pour your champagne out. There's no need for it. There's nothing here to celebrate about. Um, our singer is actually not here, unfortunately. Uh, he's he's playing a show with his other band right now. But uh, but yeah, that's I think that's where the title came from. We were just we were looking for something short and sweet for the title. But, uh, but yeah, that's where that came from. And how does that song relate to mental health? Uh, so, fun fact, we started this band during the pandemic, uh, when we all had nothing to do. Uh, and so the whole song is pretty much like a reflection of kind of that, but also like outside of the pandemic of just like, like kind of wasting your feeling like you're wasting your time, like just doing nothing when when you see like everyone else around you, like doing stuff, even though, but then the pandemic came. And so it's kind of just more of about like, just uh, kind of feeling like you're wasting your life and stuck inside and being terrified that you're gonna like get sick or die, but also like, like just like feeling like you're wasting your whole, your whole self, you know? And then how do you get out of that space when you're in it, when you're in that negative space? What do you do to get out of it? Oh, I mean, I think we all, the, everyone in the band has some, some different ways. Uh, I mean, personally, I, I'm the drummer. I like to go play drums and hang out with my dog and, you know, smoke some weed or whatever and try to, try to feel different. Uh, but I also know all of us are talking constantly about going to therapy and getting like the correct mental health, health help and talking to our friends about it and just being open and honest and communicating, you know? We have a- band. Yeah, cool. We have a band Discord where we like chat all the time and we have like Discord threads and we even have like a, a therapy thread where we talk about like doctors, health insurance and like how to get the best therapy that's around. And it's really important to all five of us to have good mental health and you know, the pandemic's been hard for everybody. So our our singers in the chat saying writing music and writing lyrics also is what, what he does to to get out of that, that cycle, you know? 
Yeah, that definitely helps. Writing about it is, is definitely therapy for sure. Like totally. for me, writing lyrics and writing melodies is, is key for all of it, man. Um, well, when are you guys going to be out in Los Angeles? As soon as possible, man. We're talking to a couple of people trying to get out there to record our next thing. And uh, But uh, Tyler's from uh, Orange County originally. So I'm out there all the time. <laughs> I'll be out there in, at the end of December. Cool. Well, thanks for being on, man. And um, and good luck. Best of luck to you guys. And hopefully we can hang out when you're in L.A. Yeah, please. We'll, we'll hit you up. Thank you so much for the, your time. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Five ever. Champagne right. is the song. It's on Spotify. Five yeah. ever. Thanks, All John. Right. Thank you. Um, so the um, so let's see here. My team um, at Big Noise is going to be posting uh, the donation information on the chat. Uh, Do it. Um, if you guys uh, feel like. Donating to Open Path, which is rad. All right, let me see if I can call in. Um, uh, you. Where's she at? <laughs> Invite. You guys want to hang up on your end? Sure, I'll, I'll figure it out. Thank you again. Thank you, brother. Um, so again, I, uh, we have partner, we have partnered big noise together. We make noise is our charity and we partner with Adobe radio to raise funds for the mental health organization, open path. Uh, we'll be sharing that information on this live. I'm sure we're doing it right now. Um, so at the end of the event, I have to pick one winner. How am I going to do that? They're all so good. So the track will be added, whatever, whatever I choose here, the track will be added to Adobe Heavy Rotation. The selected artists will receive Adobe Radio Content Tour de Session. Is that supposed to be French? Tour de Session, hosted by Adobe Radio on Adobe Radio channels. Um, so uh, I loved all, all these songs were amazing. I mean, everyone was great. There wasn't like anyone that I was like, I can't believe I have to listen to the song. And everyone kept it pretty short. Like all the songs were pretty much most of the songs were under three minutes, which is like great for my attention, my attention span. Um, uh, yeah, five ever. Um, I really like the throwback feel. It just reminded me of old war tour. Um, Rue was rad. It definitely, um, he reminded me of, you know, kind of got that Machine Gun Kelly, Jaden Hostler vibe. Uh, Marley felt very, you know, heartfelt and real to me. And I just felt in, in that song, I felt like what she was saying. I felt all the emotion in it. Um, authors wouldn't give me his address. Uh, the 27s were, uh, um, I'm just kidding. The I, I, authors were, were, were the author, authors i guess is his um artist name um song was sick probably a little too long for uh, my attention span um the 27s uh you guys were sick dude it was all you guys were sick um but with that being said um i have to pick one so uh i don't know i think that the song that um you know the song that uh that moved me the most was probably not happy yet, you know, it was the song that kind of moved me emotionally. And, uh, and I feel like I'm going to give that win to Marley and, uh, and it's not that anyone else is worse. I mean, it's not like a competition, but I guess, I guess it's a competition, isn't it? Um, so congratulations, Marley, you're the best. Um, anyone else have any, uh, uh, any other epic questions for me before I jump off of Instagram Live? Um, and congratulations, Marley. Congratulations to all these artists, you know. Um, congratulations to my coffee cup, which gets used a lot. Um, congratulations to Tapa Chico, which I drink a lot of. And uh, congratulations to me for being so handsome. And... Um, uh, you waved at, all right, cool. Let me see here. Anyone else? Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do this again for sure. This is super fun, and uh, well, you guys just saw girlfriends. That's awesome. Girlfriends are the best. We love Top of Chico. Oh, now Five Ever's waving in on Top of Chico, trying to get their vote. I love it. Um, I always listen to demo. I listen to every demo I ever get. Yeah, it's John Feldman at me dot com. Um, demo sorry demo at john feldman.com if you go to my uh, website john feldman.com there's a link there to send any music i listen to everything i always listen to everything um yeah john feldman.com that's where it is thoughts on coconut water i like um uh, uh, what's it called the harvest brand honest coconut water uh all right i think i'm i think i'm losing it um I love you guys. Thanks for having us. This was super rad. And uh, congratulations again, Marley. Uh, laters.